A speech act, or an elocutionary force, is where you say one thing, but actually you're implying something else. It can come in the form of like a statement, or advice, or a warning. And as always, here are some examples. We should really leave soon, we're going to be late. You're being a tart, get ready faster. It's cold in here. I can't be bothered to close the window, so I'm allocating that task to you. You'll never guess what! Guess what? You have zero chance of guessing what I'm about to say. I just thought that would be a funky way to start the conversation. I've got a really sore throat and my head hurts. I require sympathy. Mmm, that smells really nice. What are you cooking? Give me some of your food or our friendship is over. I got so drunk last night, I was crazy. Please acknowledge that I have a social life. Uh, sir, if you don't mind, you need to get to the back of the queue, just like everybody else. I have authority, but a very small amount. Hi, do you have the time? There is no possible way that I could not know the time, because since the 1990s, literally everybody has purchased a phone. I really just wanted to talk to you, that's the only reason I'm asking. Ha ha, this video is really funny. I didn't really watch your video, but here's a comment to show that I tried. I really want to see the new Twilight film. I really want to punish both myself and you. Yeah, I missed the last train home. I really need a lift and you're going to have to travel several hours to come and get me. Sorry. Actually, I'm a bit strapped for cash at the moment. Before you ask, I'm not going to give you any money. Oh, it's a really nice day outside. Have you seen the sun? I have nothing to talk about, but I can't stand silence. All right, mate. All right, mate. I'm a friendly Cockney person and I'm no threat to you. Ha ha ha. Wait, come and watch this on TV, it's really funny. I was laughing at something on TV, but then I realised that life is no fun without sharing. Oh, I've got a text message. Oh, I've got a friend, other than you. And now you know that for certain. So don't, don't ever think that I'm not popular, because I am. Oh, it's so hot in here. It could mean, please open the window. Or it could mean, I'm so randy that I might take my clothes off. And if that happens, well, then lucky you. All right, where should we go for dinner? I don't mind. I do mind, I just want to maintain my popularity within the group by seeming aloof and giving options. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I wouldn't do that if I was me. If I was you, I'd be freaking out about the fact that we switched bodies. Oh, so you must be Jeff. It's very nice to meet you. It might not be nice to meet you because we've only just met and I don't really know you very well yet. Pretty much pH neutral right now. If you put some litmus paper on me, I'd probably do nothing. I'm neutral. I'm on the fence. Acid, alkali, I'm neither. It's okay to meet you. I'm not that enthusiastic. Essentially, you're a stranger, but it might be nice to meet you one day on reflection. Hey, uh, can I buy you a drink? Hey, can I spend some money trying to get you to love me? On Tuesday, um, yeah, I'm not sure if I can make that day. Uh, I'll, check my, I'll check my diary. I need some more time to think of an excuse not to go. Be quiet or I'll show you the back of my hand. I'm actually threatening to hit you. If I showed you the back of my hand, it would just be a case of doing this. And what's the point?